Hey everyone, check this gem out. Now I have to say, this is one of the rarest bats on the planet. It has to be. It has to be one of the rarest bats out there. Alright, I'm going to go over it a little bit. Um, this has been sitting in my closet since I moved into my house in 98. It's been here for that long and even longer. I'm sure the family that owned this house... It stuck this in, uh, it's actually the uh, closet in my kitchen, the pantry, right? And it's just been sitting behind, you know, over in one little nook of the pantry for years and years and years. I finally took it out and looked at it and started doing some research on this bat. And uh, I got on Adirondacks guidebook for uh, dating their bats. And even look for this bat. You cannot find this bat anywhere. I dare you to try. Alright. Check this out. Now most of the bats have uh, the dark writing on them. They, they didn't have this white lettering. Right. And it's only from. I, I think there's some earlier models. Uh, I'm not sure how many, but it was distinctful in between 61 and 63. 1960, that was before I was born. Now, it does show that the, uh, I went back and did some research on this. You have to go to the guide to look at it and determine what age it is. But like I said, I couldn't find anything on it to include uh, really what the these numbers meant. Numbers in the letters. This is a 302 SF. Look at that bat. It has the missing flexible. Used to be right there. Alright. This is all in caps. And this is a Robinson type. I've never seen anything like this in this configuration. And if you go back to their guidebook, um, it's kind of hard to figure it out where this comes in. And I figure out, yeah, you know, I figured that with the white lettering being in between sixty-one and sixty-three, that's when it has to been made. As once it hits the later models, the uh, it's just the A that's capitalized here, I do believe. Right? To include it's uh, it's all dark lettering. So yeah, this bat actually has a crack down here. It'd been mended. I've never used it. I mean it's been sitting. I actually had it in a a map tube for years. This does have a big M. Let me see if I can get it on there. And a 32 on the end of it. I'm sure the homeowner's put an M on there for it's probably somebody's first name initial. But yeah. Check that out. Challenge. I'm challenging all of you. Find me a bat like this. Let me know what I got here. I've been doing research. I've even tried to call some antique shops and sports memorabilia. Everything. I'm getting nothing. So, let me know if you know anything about bats. <laughs> Alright. With that, I'm going to end this video. I am actually getting ready to walk in and finish this piece right here. So, stay tuned. Alright. Like, share, subscribe, and... Hit that notification bell. You guys all have a great day.